It's funny because both of these characters are insane blow up and vanish state characters. Uh, but it just feels like Rosso is able to figure out ways to maneuver himself into those Twitter clip, uh, Twitch clip combos a bit more freely than Dave Days. I don't know what the set count is between these two. I want to say Dave Days got the better of Rosso lately, I think. But we'll see. Yeah. Like I said, I'm excited to see it. You know, every match is a new match. We're going to be getting into this game one, both rocking the dark color alts. Love the color coordination. We're going to start off game one here on PSQ. No face started here, and this is going to be the damage. Yeah. Great. I think that was SDI from Ignaz. He went behind him there. Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> also, shout out to Ignaz's tag, John Marth. <laughs> Ignaz missed one falling there. He's not going to miss another one because he took like 30 for it. Yeah, even with like the non big extension. And we can see some Turner combos coming in from Ignace too. Oh wow, run up, shield break. Big days is so wild. Love to see it. Raza trying to get these hip checks to land, misses that, misses the grab too. Ignace is able to get a poke, sits tight, swipes away with an F tilt. Good back and forth here between these two. And an excellent escape by Ignace too. Yeah, right now Ignace is super disciplined and it's not swinging too much. He's actually starting to zone out Raza a little bit too. Every time he's coming in, he's just hitting with these anti airs. We got Slow Ride playing in the background for the Guitar Hero shoot bots. That made the set going to be very much of a slow, methodical, methodically played set. The way it's going right now. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. This is, this is so amazing. Oh, Lordy! I think that you're so raw. <laughs> well, I think if that was Timber, that probably would have shield broken him. Jesus Christ. Every time that shield breaker comes out, everyone's heart stops. The fact that he's thrown out two already in the first game and that Tipper Bear really did it. Ignace taking the first off. Ignace is also doing a really good job of catching these turnups better than the lady behind the stand of my local taqueria where I'm like, I don't think I need these turnups, man. <laughs> Four throw off stage, swipes away at once, avoids the other. Good job by Ignace to get back to ledge, but Razo immediately, he had oh, positioning. Like he did it with positioning. I don't know if that was a bait, but either way, Razo in control right now. Trying that to was so things dangerous. up. Uh, Ignace gonna get him caught there with that dare, but not gonna miss attack. Uh, gonna miss attack on that dare. Gonna get the first box. Now we're gonna see if Ignace makes another mistake and if Rosa can get his 40%. Oh, that Woo. was it. Rosa's gonna through whipping that down tilt. Every down tilt from Rosa is like a portal into like the next viral video on Twitter. It's like, all right, how much am I taking? Tries to swim away. Ignace coming up short. Rosa. That scramble situation, he had the wherewithal that, to pause himself. Oh that, my god. That was ballsy, man. That's not gonna hit me. <laughs> like that too. Rosa fighting his way out of the corner and gets that down to as an anti-air option. But these uh, dolphins have to put in work. That's what I call it the ejector seat. You yeah, basically got out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, Rosa trying to eke his way back to ledge, and it's Ignace just fully controlling that space. Yeah, this is looking so tough for Rosa to get in. He's you know, kind of a CQC character. She can zone out with these turners, but she has to go in to start getting him. And the way that Ignace is facing himself, he's just throwing out these moves, so Rosa's well, either going to get hit or get tippered. Tries to end it all with that dare. Oh, the Lord. Lord the end combo. Oh, wow. Down air to the weak hit to grab. No exact time. I was going to have that little low landing impact. Nice piece bar by Rosa. The close impact on him. The ability to get back to ledge, but I was again. That was such a close back air from uh, Ignace, too. He saw Rosa had no jump. Rosa's in the, in the hot seat right now. He needs to find a way back into this. He needs to find the stock. He's not doing too bad so far. Dash attack. Not the greatest DI, but still living from it. Not going to survive another one, though. Couldn't deal with the Dolphin Slash the way he wanted to. And then the, the slight lag from recatching turn up allowed Ignace to have the window for the up tilt. Great Instead, back air, too. And it's just creating aerials there. netted Rosa's stock for what cost. Oh, oh. oh. I almost cursed him. Great days was like, no curses. We were absolutely about to start the chant. He said, nah, not me, not I. Oh! <laughs> that was so scary. I don't think Ignace realized that he didn't auto cancel. I had a shield there too, but luckily everyone's gonna get out of it. Wow, so I get to Good lord, that was a tipper? That yeah, was too. Jeez. The fact that you can be sliding F to get that tipper, that's how you know. This month's been in the lab. <laughs> Ah, that, that, that was, that was hard. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a dash attack how fast he moved. Gosh, that was, such, that was such great spacing from Ignace, too. 
So, what, what do you think Raza was struggling with in game one? I think like I was saying earlier, Raza's the kind of character that will like to zone you out with the spaced aerials, and it just seemed like Raza couldn't find his way in because Ignatius was just standing there waiting for Raza to go there and attack him and like try to get into that it's, space. What's weird is it felt like he was he was nailing some down tilts that to me looks like a little bit of cheating, but hey, that's how it be sometimes. Yeah, he, bro, he was getting out of down tilts like they were not true, but y'all were getting hit by this? <laughs> So, yeah, I think that's just kind of the struggle that's going to happen in this matchup. Once Rouse is going to get in, it's going to be a lot easier, but with Ignaz's naturally defensive play, Rouse has really got to pick and choose his boundaries. He's got to find these creative ways to get in. Like, he's just not cracking to the pressure that Rouse traditionally puts out, you know? Well, we're going to get into game two here. Hey, it's so, my favorite stage, small battlefield. Great stage. I'm, I'm loving the addition to the uh, little fish. Nice floated up tilt, but not able to immediately capitalize the platform pressure. Does get a follow up to go. A days at ledge. That was an interesting setup for Raza, just kind of float around the ledge and like retreat back to the ledge. Ooh. Almost gets that tipper up here, but still great damage. Yeah, we're just going to get a float cancel into a nair. Yep, and like I said, here's the opening that we're going to look for. Trying to get another Tomahawk grab, he's not quite going to get it. Yeah, these grab whips, Raza has to be careful. They need to find a mark after one of them. Uh, and the fact that uh, Ignace can, you know, swing his sword out to either cast a tournament, and if he doesn't catch it, he just gets rid of it. That's something that a lot of characters can't really do. And the stitch, oh, so much pressure, but not going to get it. This draft battle for the first dock is wild. Wow, low landing. Slow aerials from both players. Oh, to chase. Yep. He nailed it. One of Ignace's favorite setups, and a great setup for the Marcina group themselves. Wow. Yeah, not a lot, like, not a lot that's just fascinating, just a lot of just really stellar, solid gameplay for both players. Factor kind of shield, but Raza able to use the low knockback and high percent to mash out of it. At ledge now. Oh, catches it with the jump too. Wow, that up here didn't kill. But we're gonna catch him out there. That was an option select. Yeah, and, uh, eight sure. days shows wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious if, like, the down tilt stuff on Mars is just not true, or if it's Raza like messing up his uh, timing window. If it's not true, that's really gonna hurt Raza in this uh, damage. As somebody you know? who made the heavy, I really hope it's true because that's not fair. Yeah, everyone yeah. else has suffered. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I like that idea that Ignace had to go out there. Raza does like to float there a lot. Hey, you didn't even get punished for like risking it. He was able to fair right back on ledge. Yeah. Try to swipe again. Now just controlling the final third from a distance, from a depth distance. Catch the jump. Rozzo in Great danger. Ignace tries to steal the deal. Oh my gosh. One more. He, no. He no. Rozzo trying to get the slow ride in. <laughs> oh! He didn't even stop. <laughs> he said, this ride goes all the way, man. Another the tunnel of love. Oh my god. And finally makes his way back. You would have thought Rosa was dead from all that, but here he is. He could get this dock if he plays the card right. Rosa, be careful. One more sword swipe. That might do it. Wow, landing up air. Not quite enough. But now we're in, we're in trouble. I'm pretty sure enough though is going to kill this present. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Just barely going to kill it there. Good. Rosa was pre matching DI, and that was not inescapable. Especially with the pummel, too. Wow, that's easy. And they're going to get it. And like we said, just catch the bear. Let's see if we can get a combo. This game is trying to get some spikes going on. Finally, we only had a multi hit side B2. Oh! That ledge now. Excellent hip Great. check from Razo to take that stop. Great patience from Razo there. What? Scoping out the get up attack. Oh. Um, so he was able to get one, but. You know, he's going to have to consider his combo roots going forward. Raza was playing really carefully as a scramble situation, but nice down air F smash there from Ignace. I like the Rob awkward Raza. angle Dolphin at two. Yeah. Late fair. Ooh, wow. crown reach through. The offensive fair to get back to stage. Oh, wow. I thought we were going to see the glide toss. But this is an even, this is last off, last hit. Looking a lot better for Raza right now. Looks like he's picking something out. Another fair going off the stage. Wow, wow. Raza's going out there. I like it. Woo! That's all she wrote, baby. Man. Razo just could not seal the deal with the the, the edge guarding. Yeah. The ledge traffic wasn't there. Ignace is doing such a good job of like anticipating the downward toss turnups, and it just it really limits what Razo could do creatively with ledge traffic. If you're not like subjecting yourself 
if, you're, if, if your resources aren't as such where your, your aerial, your rice aerial is going to rob you of your jump and your core momentum, you can just kind of like just wait, swipe away, and then use your upbeat to get back to ledge. Yeah, it's so, so granted, good. nobody in the cast, or not that many characters in the cast have an upbeat as good as Dol uh, the. Yeah, and the problem with Dolphin Slash too is like the way you're going to want to hit it, you want to hit it from the back. So you have to throw it down so it somehow hits it from the back, but that's like a one in a million chance. It's a random awkward angle. Either way, Ross oh, yeah, here we go. better better foot this time around. But the 30, counter! 30. Yeah, yeah, hit me with that crown, see if I don't got something for you. He got a full combo's worth off of that counter. I think he actually tacked on 22 on the 11 that was there, but nonetheless, yeah. still 20 off combos, uh, counter sites. Oh no, a big mistake, and this could be the op opportunity that Razo's needed all set to get back in this. Yeah, it's un unlikely SD, but... Raza ledge, but getting thwarted by, by there, and the dash attack. Does he have jump? Oh, the up air just popped him up. That's not what Ra Chris Nays wanted. Whoa. Oh, that was interesting. Raza going for the up smash there. Wow. wow. He's not going to kill. And actually, zero to death, kind of ish, coming out from AK. Barely lost any damage. Oh, the uh, Dolphin Slash. Yeah, get, get out of there. Like you said, Raza's looking like he's starting to figure out stuff. Still into this match. I'm not going to count him out yet. The reverse 30 is definitely possible, but we don't know how difficult it's going to be. Oh, listen, it needs to just be able to slow the game down to where he wants, whereas Raza is just unable to get his rhythm up. Oh, he, I think he, no. Nope, no, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Stand back, folks, these are experts at work. Experts at button pressing, combos, and callouts. And the boosted S tilt again. We saw that in game one. It was out the stock, and we're just gonna get quick uh, turn up into the fair. And there's no jump either. Let's see if we're gonna go out there. And after having a significant lead, Razo's face is winner side stock. It's not where he imagined he'd be right this quick. Yeah, for sure. Double turn up again, and instead, it, it, once again, it is his oh. posing a question that Razo just can't answer. How do you edge guard this man? There you go. Yep. You, asked, <laughs> you asked, he delivered. <laughs> asked it so you shall receive. Absolutely, now we got a dot eye, so one mistake is gonna be a good combo. Went through the platform. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh here we go. go. And again, the ejector seat just put you a stop to that Twitter clip. It's like a DMCA notice. <laughs> Gonna get it better myself. I kind of want to see Razo going forward, maybe at these lower percent, go for the first uh, nair and then make it look like he's gonna go for a combo and maybe scout out the Dolphin Slash. Either way, it's cutting down to the wire here for Razo. Ignace is trying to move on with an emphatic 3 0. Oh, this is scary. Yeah, he played it to death and he buried it! Madman! What the heck? Rouzo is putting on some immense pressure right now. Caught the jump earlier. Still putting now on the pressure. Now tell Ferris to do it. Yep, off the ledge. He's trying to jump there. Queen, queen me. Queen me. That's a queen me. <laughs> Rouzo putting a stock or a game on the board here in the battle for the reverse 30. I'm loving the way that Rouzo is adapting. Game yeah. one, Rouzo is a different beast than game three so far. We're seeing him. Tighten up his fair. windows. To be fair, it needs to be that very close after a bad SD mistake. Yeah. So, Razo has to figure out, has to use that momentum. He has to keep Ignace down. He has to keep Ignace second guessing himself. Maybe thinking, oh, I can't wait and float in with some of these aerials. I can't take my time. The faster Ignace plays, the more it'll play into Razo's hands as Razo tries to make this comeback happen. Yeah. Let's see what happens here in game four. Smash Great save for both of these players. I know both love killing off the stage that Pete Fair and, you know, Mark Pippers. Well, interesting, also switching alts, I think. But it didn't switch alts every game. He was a green one game. <laughs> down air fair, Razo just tacked down some damage. Trying to hold center stage, but Ignace immediately rudely opened the door and says, now this is my house. And another with the tempered episode. Tries to end it all with a dare. I'm loving these downward angle uh, dolphin heads or double dances. Down air, up wow, air. Reverse up air. Yo, is that the slingshot? Yeah. <laughs> Turn about. Avoids yeah. it. That's a parry from Raza. Tries to go for the down tilt again. He is going to get awarded. Razo is going to increasingly fish for down tilt at ledge, even though Dolphin Slash does give uh, Ignace a relatively safe recovery burst. Just because of what he can get, con con confirm wise. Oh no! Oh, just, we're going to live that. I, I want to say Ignace should have this one. 
more time with feeling. Yeah, sometimes you gotta go out there and call him. There's only so much float and unfloat is gonna be able to make you up, especially this late into the set. And a lordy, long reaching bear coming out. Browser has gotta find a way. That back air barely missing too. AJ's now trying to get back to ground under his feet. Back and Razo is the wind beneath his wings, taking him completely to the blast zone in that one. Oh! oh. Reading Rainbow, yep. He's trying to wait for the dolphin edge, but if it's not going to come out, I'll just hit you. How's the Reading Rainbow song go? Like, pie in the sky? <laughs> I forgot how it went. I, have, I can't even remember how it goes, but you know, you actually got a bit of it right now that I mentioned it. <laughs> Unlock the poor memory. Oh. Raza trying to go for one of his reliable carries, but AJ has whipped out the multi hit. He's a down tilt, no follow for Raza immediately. Down air, fair? Oh, no, back in my bad. And now, and there's a jump here. Oh! Wow, he didn't die. I don't think I was tipping either. But that chipper nair again. What's a queen to a king? AJ is his ass right now. The turnip toss. Oh, he always had the downer for the platform, too. Ignatius is thing. trying to style for his next Twitter clip. No! No! Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Ride the blade. Bear the into Tipper Nair. I was waiting to see that earlier because we'd always end these comms with the, the bear, and I was waiting for the Nair. That's the way to do it. Tipper at, like, 40 or 50? That's why he went to Smashville, man. That was sick. <laughs> that was Good wild. Lord. He said, I'm nice with this. Shoutouts, guys. Yeah, but I think we're going to be hopping off. He can G. Oh, later. I'm just saying hi to the fans, guys. But, anyways, we're going to be rotating off. We're going to get into the Black Excellence. We got Gucci and PKNG going off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have, make sure to follow BYS. They're always putting on great events. Glad to see you out here, bro. I know you've been wanting to come out here for a while. Yes, sir. Great seeing you out here and everything. What's up? Oh, yeah. And everybody, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go check out Super Land Hero. Uh, it's gonna be next Tuesday. Um, we got $300 cash pot prize bonus that got added. We're gonna, it's gonna be a great venue um, out in Temple City. Go ahead and smash GG slash SLHT or Super LHT2. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Um, got a lot of top players coming through. Hopefully, you guys will come join us. Metify is on board with it. And uh, Oh, I didn't know that. That's lit. Yeah, it's pretty lit. But we have a lot of great casters and crew, so make sure to tune in for that. You can also follow me at my new handle, which is at FTC underscore fro. Like it, you could give me a follow <laughs> at God of Toasty. You already know where it's gonna be, so. 